What's going on, family? When it comes to the average listener who tunes in the podcast, right? The average listener typically listens to about six to seven podcasts a week. And we're not even talking about the average podcaster. All right. So understanding that I showed you last week, or I showed you last week, ultimately, how to set up your podcaster profile by way of Good Pods, which is a phenomenal app. If you have not taken the time to download it, to get an understanding and to get your profile on there as a podcaster, go ahead and get it. But today I'm going to show you how to set up your listener profile on Good Pods. If you're not a podcaster yet, but you're like, I want to find out more about podcasting before I dive in, this is going to be the perfect how-to episode for you. Let's dive into the episode. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? 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 Hey, okay. So <laughs> what's going on, good people? It's Jonathan Jones. I'm the host of the Your Podcast Mentor Show. And as you all know, the premise of this show is really to set you up for true success. How do we do that? We show you uh, the latest podcast news. We show you tips. We show you tricks to break it down like this. We help you set up your platform so that you can profit on purpose from your podcast, all right? And we do that, like I said, with the latest news, with the tips, with the tricks, and with the hacks. So with that being said, let me go ahead and introduce you first and foremost, just in case you don't know, we have a webinar going on, okay? You wanna go to withpodcasting.com. In this webinar, I'm gonna show you how to bridge a podcast. If you're a speaker, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant or an aspiring speaker, then I want to show you how to leverage a podcast to where you can explode your leads, to where you can monetize your message and really establish a platform with longevity. So you can go in the show notes to get paid with podcasting.com and register for that webinar. You don't want to miss it. Last one for the year. Let's go. In understanding now that uh podcast news is something that's really relevant especially if you're in the space as a podcaster or you're considering getting into the space right one of the things that i always have realized that even going back to when i was a kid and i was scared to swim i was like "Ooh, uh what's in the water I'm like "Ooh, but if i can't float if i can't swim then what will happen to me then right so that fear ultimately could be countered by a level of information. John, why is that relevant? What are you saying right now? I'm letting you know right now that one of the things that's going to help you really learn more and really take your podcast journey further is by information. So I want to dive in today and now I want to show you what's happening in the podcast industry. And I'm going to break that down plain and simply put by giving you the latest updates. So here we are. First and foremost, okay, one of the biggest updates that, that's taking place, and let, let's let's make sure that we can see. One of the biggest updates that, that's, that's taking place is, is right here, you all. It's right here. That Global, this is a media platform, Global acquires podcast hosting, analytics, and monetization platform Captivate. Why is this relevant? This is relevant because ultimately the platform named Global, they're bringing on Captivate. Well, they're acquiring Captivate. And Captivate, and what, a few years ago, was hosting 14,000 podcasts. So now they're bringing them over. And uh, the CEO, Stephen Miron, I believe I pronounced his name correctly, he went on to say that this will enable us to support all talent in the podcast community from the very large to emerging talent. So his justification is let's acquire this because we're going to better support the creator, going to be able to better support the creator um, and ultimately helping them further their content, further their platform 
everything like that. So that's the first update that I have for, for you all today with the podcast news. But then the next update that I want to share, we got right here, Adobe, Adobe's project, Project Shasta, is an AI-powered web-based audio editor. This software is free for now, but early testers need to request access. Okay, because it's it's an audio recording and editing platform all in one to take the next generation of audio from Adobe. People, people, pay attention to what's happening in the audio industry. Adobe isn't doing this just for their health. They're doing this because this is another opportunity to get the bag. So shout out to Kay Bell uh, for breaking this story. Miss Carissa, Carissa be on twitter okay shout out to her and then we have one more we want to just bring attention to uh the fiction podcast lovers right uh apollo is an app specifically for the fiction podcast lover all right discover and listen to audio fiction with shows sorted by season episode and correct order okay so this is for my fiction podcast listeners my fiction podcast lovers tap into apollo the home of fiction podcast all right and that wraps it up for today's podcast news and i wanted to bring that to you and shout out to afros and audio look check out this hoodie y'all this is a pretty dope hoodie just got this in the mail this week's podcast news was sponsored by afros and audio so shout out to them got the dope hoodie one more time got the dope hoodie from afros and audios thank you for that uh they had a phenomenal conference uh it was about a month or so ago now at this point so follow them on social y'all afros and audios yeah let, let's go let's go let's get it let's get it so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and share our screen because we're going to dive in and i'm going to show you how to create your podcast well how to create your listener so your podcast listener profile by way of good pod so we're going to share my screen and we're going to get into it okay so first things first if you're not watching this video on youtube then you may be listening by way of whatever podcast platform you listen so i'm going to be very descriptive in my language but if you prefer to watch the video, then you can click the link down in the show notes. We'll have the video available for you to see the how to step by step by step by step. OK, so now we're on the first screen and the first screen says we have a black button at the bottom that says create an account. And then we have a white button that says guest entry. All right. But if you already have an account down at the bottom, it says log in. It says log in. But one more time. If you're a podcaster, I did a previous video on how you can start your podcast, uh, how to start your podcaster profile. But for now, we're going to click create an account. Here it asks for your number. We're going to type in six, seven, eight, six, five, eight, three, six, two, seven. And then it says email address. Oh, and one good thing about uh, one thing about good pods, if you have already used your email address, it's going to let you know because I've already used this email address and it says email registered. So I'm going to pop in and I'm going to change this to a different email address that I have not used. OK, and I used it because I did that for the first video. OK, so I typed in a different email address and we're going to click the black button that says next. All right, now it says introduce yourself. It has three spaces. One says first name, second one says last name, which is optional, and the third says username. So I'm gonna make my first name Jonah. I'm gonna make my last name Wells. <laughs> Jonah Wells. And then my username, I'm gonna make it Jonah Wells. and i'm gonna leave it at that to the far right you see there is a blue check by the username that lets us know that this name is not taken and that i can use this particular username but if i delete it 
and I put in just Jonah, it gives us a red exclamation mark. And just below the username, it says, sorry, that username is already taken. But like I said, we're going to go with Jonah Wells. And we have the blue check. That username is not taken. And then I'm going to hit the return button. So the keyboard drops and I'm going to hit the black button that says next. All right. Now we're at the screen where it says, which one best describes you? This will help us create your profile. On the left, there's a yellow circle that says listener. On the right, there is a blue circle that says podcaster. And I have done a previous video to where I show you how to create your profile if you're a podcaster. So I'm going to link that video here as well as I'm going to drop it in the show notes. But for this how-to, we're going to go to the far left. We're going to click listener. So I'm going to click the yellow one that says listener. And now you see the particular logo or icon has become more so bolded. And I'm going to click the black next button down at the bottom. And it says creating your good pods account it says, OK, find friends already on good pods. Tap OK. We're going to go to don't allow right now. And then you see it brings us to the next screen, which says here are people we recommend. At the top, it says Alyssa Milano, says Malcolm Gladwell, Glenneth Paltrow, Kim Kardashian West, Crystal Prophet, Dateline NBC. They have a lot of different pages that they just recommend, which I think is really amazing um, just to get you acclimated to the platform, especially since this is a listener profile. It's introducing us to other people and other individuals that we might have an interest in their podcast. For now, we're just going to go ahead and click next, the black next button at the bottom. Now it says tap your interest to find podcasts and groups. So for this, I'm going to go down. I'm going to click. I'm going to click news. I'm going to click crime. And then I'm going to click books. OK, news, books and crime. And you see it doesn't provide a limit so we can click more than three. But just clicking three, I think, is a good baseline to show people or show good pods what our interests are in. So now I'm going to go and click the black next button at the bottom. It says last important step, enable notifications to find out when friends join and new episodes drop. Then it had a notification bubble that popped up and it said good pods would like to send you notifications. Notifications may include alerts, sounds and icon badges. These can be configured in settings. We can click allow or don't allow. I'm going to click allow because this is my listener profile. I want to see what comes out. So now we're on the main screen or we're on the feed. As you can see at the top, it says podcast to the far left at the top. Then in the middle, it says people. Then it says groups. So groups is the top far right hand. People is the top middle. And then podcast is the top far left hand. Okay, so let's break down this page a little bit, and then I'm going to go to your profile. So we go down. The first thing is there's a search box that says search podcast. Okay, so we can go in there and we can search for a particular podcast. If you know there's a podcast that you enjoy, that you like listening to. So you can do that there. Just under that box, it says this week, your friends listen to. And then it lists one, two, three, four podcasts there. So based on who you follow and what they listen to, those episodes would be listed here. As you see, they have the maintenance phase, they have the beach speaks, they have the book of the day, and they have WTF with Mark Marin. And these are podcasts that are suggested based on the topics that I have selected, the crime, the news, and I can't remember the other topic that I picked, but it was those three. And they're suggesting these episodes based on that. We'll scroll down. Then they have the featured list, the featured list where this is features that Good Pods suggest. Right. Just to give us a variety of features, I'll do a different video breaking that down. Then we'll scroll down a little bit more. 
And then there's the Good Pods Top 100 Shows. So these are the show. These are the top 100 shows that are most popular on the Good Pods platform based on listenership, based on ratings, and based on a few other uh, categories. And then we scroll down a little bit more, and then it says top 100 shows by category. Okay, so that's arts, business, comedy, and they have even more. We'll do another episode on that. And then there's Good Pods Top 100 Episodes. These are episodes that have gotten a lot of traction based on the episode. So a lot of comments, uh, a lot of rankings and reviews and different things like that around the episode. And then there's the Good Pods Recommends. And I really like that Good Pods has this feature on their platform because they recommend certain podcast episodes based on um, their Good Pods team. So the team gets together, they talk it over, and they recommend different episodes based on you know what they liked about it and based on the content and different things like that. So if you're a podcaster, you have opportunity to be recommended on the Good Pods platform. And if you're recommended on the platform, then that creates an opportunity for you to even get bumped up to where you can be moved to potentially a Top 100 episode or a Good Pods Top 100 podcast. OK, so these are things that we want to always consider when we're thinking about listenability or discoverability. And then down at the bottom, it says people in the know like and then it lists off some other people um, based on the topics that I suggested. And then down at the very bottom, it says podcast by category, arts and culture, business and economics, comedy, crime, education, et cetera. So didn't want to spend too much time there, but just wanted to just give you an overall breakdown on that. So now we're going to go to the bottom far right hand corner where it says profile. OK, so if we go from the left to right, bottom, bottom, bottom left, it says feed where it has a picture of earphones. It says library where it has a stack of books. Then it says search to where it has a magnifying glass. It has a bell to where it says alerts. And then it says profile to the far, far right. We're going to click on profile. OK, so now on profile, let's just break this thing down. So at the. At the circle where you see a Polaroid in there, you see it's a Polaroid of. A blank Polaroid, it's waiting for us to fill it with an image. Then to the right, you see it says I have zero followers, but I'm following 24 people. That was the people that Good Pods recommended. I just said I wanted to go ahead and follow them. So now you see I'm following 24 people. And then to the far right, it says listens. And it says zero because I haven't listened to any podcasts yet on this particular profile. Okay. Then just below, it says edit profile. That's a white button. Then to the right, it says find friends, and that's a gold button. OK, so we're going to stop right here and I'm going to click the edit profile button. And then now it shows me that blank Polaroid with a yellow pencil by it. So I'm going to click the pencil and then it prompts me. It says remove existing picture, which I don't have one. And then it says snap a selfie. And then it says choose from camera roll. I'm going to choose from camera roll. All right. So then I'm going to scroll down my photos. And then I'm going to pick one from this category that says together we honeymoon, because this is some photos of me with my wife. And I'm going to go ahead and pick this photo of me just looking down at my phone since this is a listener profile on Good Pod. So I'm going to choose that image. And then now you see it pops up. You see the picture of me looking at my phone. And then down below it says first name, Jonah. Then it says last name, Wells. Then it says username, Jonah Wells. Okay, so now it says website. So this is where you want to put in your website. Make it easy for people to go back and find your business, right? For easy for people to look you up. So for website, I'm going to click that and I'm going to type in Jonathan Jones Speaks dot com. And this is a caveat. 
My real name is not Jonah Wells. My real name is Jonathan Jones. I'm not catfishing anybody, but I'm walking through this for the sake of creating a podcast listener profile. Okay. I'm going to put down in the link at the, I'm putting a link down in the show notes of where you can connect with me on Good Pods. And my name is Jonathan Jones Speaks on Good Pods. Okay. Let's scroll down. Then it says bio. This is where you let people know about you, right? You let people know a little bit about you, but you even want to give them some information that would make them want to connect with you like this. I am a podcast. I am a avid podcast listener. And I also have a podcast production company company helping podcasters grow their reach you see so i put down in there i put down in there some information that would make podcasters want to connect with me because i help podcasters grow their reach okay so we put that for bio and then i always like to encourage people after you put in a little bit of information go to the top far right hand and push the save button push the save button all right and then we're going to scroll down and this is a great time for us if we have not downloaded the app you want to download the good pods app people download it on ios download it on apple um but down at the bottom now you see the account information it says your email and then it says your phone number okay it says this information will not show up on your profile but that right there completes your profile we're going to go back take a look at the profile look at it look at it lovely lovely you see we've we went through and this is what we did okay so we created a good pods profile first and foremost by following uh the 25 people that good pods recommended that we follow next we created our username which is at jonah wells on good pods then we went in and we put in a bio which is i am an avid podcast listener and i also have a podcast production company helping podcasters grow their reach we put that because we want to put some information to make people want to connect with us then we added our website because adding our website now want make will make people will give people a way to connect with us outside of the good pods platform okay so it gives people follow-up steps you might even want to put in an intake form there if you're seeking getting clients who are podcasters or aspiring podcasters an intake form can go there and you can prompt people to connect with you there down below so friends this wraps up this how to this episode on how to create your good pods podcast listener profile i wanted to create this because we created the previous episode about how to create your good pods podcaster profile and then we also did a walkthrough on the good pods app a tutorial if you will i'll link all those in the show notes so now we're going to go ahead and transition to our podcast q a with jj our podcast q a segment and i, I want to shout out my man joe on this because joe sent in this question and uh well i'm just gonna go ahead and play the question for you so here we go hey man this is joe follow all your stuff i'm watching your youtube videos we have a podcast this is an official podcast of the u.s military and we have a good amount of followers, I think, like a small amount, about 5,000 downloads on each episode, a little more than that. We're trying to expand it out, man. You know, we have a lot of good subjects for people who are thinking about military service, for veterans, for soldiers, or just people that are interested in what's happening in the military. Um, so I just wanted to see if you had any ideas on that, how we can expand out the reach. We can't seem to get past people that are serving in the army right now the podcast it's 18th airborne corps podcast and it's 18th airborne corps podcast you know we do have a lot of interesting subjects i think and we bring in a lot of personalities and 
you know, talk about a lot of a lot of different stories that I think people would find interesting. So just interested in your advice on that one, man. Thanks so much. Joe, thank you so much for your question, my man. Thank you so much um, for taking the time to, to listen to the podcast. Thank you for taking the time to submit your question. And the, the advice I would give to you is if you have not done, well, first and foremost, man, 5,000 downloads, that's pretty nice, man. That puts you in a very, very small percentage, but that's actually a pretty sizable number, my man, pretty sizable um, number. So kudos on that. Kudos on all the success. The advice that I would give to you or the suggestion that I have for you would be uh, potentially have you considered being a guest on other people's podcasts, right? So one suggestion I would say is you being a guest on other people's podcasts, talking about the work that you've done, talking about the work that you're currently doing and the stories that you're sharing. The second thing that I would say would be seeing about a blog, seeing out a blog, um, sharing that content in that way or seeing if there is a newsletter or a partnership to where you can link up and connect to somebody who just enjoys sharing stories, not necessarily specifically about, um, you, you know, uh, in the industry or in the service, because the store, because at the end of the day, you are sharing stories and by sharing stories and interviewing interesting people, a story connects at the heart. And we all have a heart and we all connect with real life stories. So that would be my suggestions. It would be either a blog. It would be uh, you being a guest on other people's podcasts and just sharing the work that you're doing. Um, and even in addition to that, it would be by way of partnership, right? Like joining a newsletter or being, you know, being, being uh, a partner with a newsletter and then I just thought of this as well um, around Veterans Day or around specific days that align with the content of your show or the message of your show. Then being in a position to where like if it's like a holiday or if it's like a certain day to where then you connect with those those platforms, the newsletter, the blog, and then you really blast it out. Because then you'll be able to grasp people's attention on those days, but then you'll be able to still keep and maintain some of those listeners over time. Joe, I hope that answered your question, my man. Uh, I'm going to make sure to shoot this to you personally, but let me know if that did help. But family, one more time, once again, uh, if you're an aspiring speaker, speaker, coach, consultant, you want to make sure to get registered for our Get Paid with Podcasting training, because I'm going to show you ultimately how to leverage podcasting to where you can establish your platform and then from establishing your platform and being the authority in your industry i'm even going to show you how to explode your leads but most importantly well not most importantly but it's essential how to get paid even with a small audience all right so you want to get registered for that get paid with podcasting.com get paid with podcasting.com I'm Jonathan Jones, and we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode. I'm your podcast mentor, and I'm here to show you how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast platform, okay? So thank you for listening to the show. I would encourage you to rate and review where you listen to podcasts if you got any value at all from this show, from this episode. And until next time, family, peace and God bless.